Oh, shit. I've seen one flying around here. Did you? Well, okay. When Grandma lived with us, Bobby had a butterfly. And she took it in the house and she showed it to Grandma. And Grandma says, oh, Bobby, you can't, you can't keep it in the house. you got to take it outside so everybody can enjoy its beauty. And so Bobby knew that by taking it outside, because she touched the wings, that it wouldn't fly away. But she took it out anyways because Grandma told her to. So she took it outside, and she opened up her hands, and it flew away. And a few months after Grandma died, she came to me and she said, Mom, she said, I'm ready to let Grandma go like I let the butterfly go. I need to let her go so everybody in the world can enjoy her. Do you want the rest of it? <laughs> okay, the rest of it is, um, after she died, she knew that I loved butterflies because Bob had taken me to this one island down here in Kentucky, you know, and we were going, we had to go by boat, and so only a few of us could go at a time. So I got dumped on the island with all these kids, you know, and he took off, and I figured he was never coming back. But on this island was the most beautiful butterflies you'd ever want to see. I mean, there was just tons of them all over the place, just gorgeous. And I come back, and I was telling Bob's mom about it and stuff. So I was having a bad day after she passed away, and my dog was barking at the door. And I thought, what, what is wrong with her? I, you know, I couldn't figure it out. So I went out to the door, and I looked outside, and there was about 20 butterflies in my yard just flying all over the place. And they were there long enough that I could go get my camera and take pictures. But, I mean, you could see them. When you looked at them, you could see them. Like, it, to look at the ground, you could see them flying over the top of each other and stuff. I mean, they were just gorgeous. And it just, it made my day because Grandma had sent me the butterflies to make me feel better. So we, every time it seems like we have a family reunion now, a butterfly shows up. There is a butterfly. I mean, we had a, I can't remember, it seems like it was, oh, it was the first day of school dinner. We always have a first day of school dinner. September. We bought Allie come to get me. She says, Mom, come here. And I said, What do you want? Just let me sit down for a few minutes. She says, No, you got to come here and see this. And I went outside, or out in our entryway, in the house, was the most beautiful blue butterfly. And it seems like every time we have a family reunion now, we have a butterfly in the house. <laughs> So we know it's Grandma coming to visit us, you know. And Sue and Tom and Bob and I went to the, um, out to eat a week ago, and we went to the cemetery. And just as we got to the, her stone, this butterfly flew up and hit Sue in the chest, and she said, Mom must be mad at me because I haven't been here earlier. So the butterflies are really important to us now. So. You were saying they're not real common in Michigan too. They're not common in Michigan at all. We don't have we don't have very many butterflies in Michigan. No way. And it just there's tons. You know, it just seems like they show up. And like when we got here today, Bobby came and got me because there was a butterfly over on the tree, and she said, "Grandma's here." <laughs> well, she just got you from it to go on the shoulder. <laughs> One landed on her. See? Really? I don't yeah, remember. It did. We were standing there. I didn't even know. That's so butterfly. funny. That butterfly just landed on there. So, see the butter. It's Grandma. <laughs> She's coming to be with us. You know, so now if we buy anything, it always has a butterfly on it. And it means something. You know, like Danny got uh, Bobby a, a butterfly necklace for the green. See butterflies, she'll think of us. Yeah, I will. And then Aura. That's a pretty cool story. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>